I was trying to stay cats, they make hats, sweatsuits and all that. documentary and shit right i've been doing it for about a year i started at harlem nights shooting it and uh you know what i'm saying it's uh, about you know battle rap harlem you know what i mean as a community and shit and talking about battle rap and stuff like that so um you know what i'm saying it's something that i'm i'm kind of like it's one of the projects Wait, that it's, I it's, it's, it's based on like Harlem in general, or just like Har the artists both so so it's talking about harlem but you know harlem is is where a lot of battle rap takes place so it's like you know because battle rap itself is like a microcosm of what harlem is you know what i mean the competition the talent the you know what i'm saying like just the whole the vibe of it right so we talking to rex and ice and sway in it, you know what i'm saying like different interviews with them uh you know what i mean i got a, a few uh, ladies that i'm trying to like getting the interviews and shit we went to a couple of events went to small businesses went to people on the corners on the blocks and shit interviewed them just talking about everything from the issues there from how the neighborhood changed in the battle rap itself and hip-hop and you know what i'm saying and like last year was a hip-hop 50th festival so we went there for a while we talked to some performers and shit so the idea is to start with harlem and then i want to actually go to brooklyn after we uh Yo, while you went harlem yeah. I think it's only right you got a segment with me, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? Not only my Harlem native, but when Harlem was lit in battle rap, everybody was from the west side. I'm okay. The first person from the east side to put east side on. And then Fetty came and Snake Eyes came. Yep, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's crazy. We got we got segments with Fetty and Snake and shit. And like Fetty, was, it was in, uh, in in his projects with like, you know what I mean? All the guys out there too. And shit. Oh, yeah. So, you got to come to the turf, yeah. Tom. I ain't going to lie. You got to come to 116. You got to come All right, to the turf. That's, that's a bet. Because I got, I, I got, I'm shooting something. Uh, I'll probably shoot like a little, because I already did a sit down interview with Rex, but I'll probably shoot like a day in a life and putting that in there. As well, so while we out there, like let's let's put something together. Yes, know? sir. So, all right, so you know you uh you got my information. We're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. I already uh, another already question got though. I got yeah. it. what you think about the single hog call coming up? Is in the uh, yeah, right? I seen that in the I seen that in the jumbo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> J Love Eliza Versa main event is fire. Somebody got to humble Eliza Versa, man. Somebody got to do it. God. <laughs> She be talking, she be talking that shit, man. So I, I like that. Torture Miss Miami, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Torture probably want to get one back after what Don, you know, her and Don and shit. Yo, hold, Don hold, 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 real quick, real quick, yeah. Yes, sir. Do you think that J Love is going to be the one to humble a lot? <sighs> she has potential to do so. If I was a betting man, I'd probably say no. Versus just got so much energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lyrically, I feel like Jay Love is actually better, but like Versa has a way of delivering her shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she's a lot of energy, a lot of charisma with her shit. So I feel like you know, like it, it just depends on what type of Jay Love we get. You know what I mean? She really gets in that bag and it's really bar heavy with her shit. Like she, could, she definitely can make some waves with her. You know what I'm saying? And show like levels as far as that, because I think that's her strength. Like. She could put together some shit that's like, you know, a little bit more intricate and shit like that, you know. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna be a good battle though. I expect that to be a good battle. You feel me? So, yeah, I fuck uh, with that, that. That, that. I bet, bet. I told you, Miss Miami. I fuck with this battle. Uh, Miss Miami got the same type of. See, I'm interested to see what Torture do, right? Because I feel like Don Lady just kind of she got a certain. That just that aura, that energy and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of overwhelming sometimes. I feel like maybe Torture want to get one back after that one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think, I think Torture raps better. I do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Miami got a way of like delivering her shit when she is, 
you know what I mean? In her zone, she's cool and shit like that. I just, I feel like Torture raps better, and I'm waiting to see a comeback performance. So I'm going to go Torture on the battle, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. I, but I fuck with them both and shit, so we got we to gotta see. But I, I, was, I always uh, thought Torture was dope. It's just, you know, she just ran into a good Don that day. Um, what else we got? Oh yeah, hey, yo, it's a it's a um it's a it's a fan dude ticking in the uh jumbotron, bro. You say what? No, oh, it's the fan duel ticket. Huh? Same day parlay. Okay, okay. Oh, you on the uh, WNBA shit? Yeah, yeah it is the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'll be watching that shit with my baby, <laughs> my daughter. All uh, right, Queen Damo and OG Prana. Uh, I'm gonna go with OG Prana. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. OG Prana was on the Activator show earlier. Shout out to Mac Mal on the Activator show. Mm-hmm. I and Tony was on there. They both okay. talking like they ready to come clip sign. Easy money. Oh, shit. Easy money? Especially ah. Prana. Prana was talking like shit. That oh, ain't yeah. shit Damo can do. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I, th- I think, yeah. All right, we gonna have to see then, cause like I'm, I gotta see that uh, that live and shit. But I fuck with Prime in the battle for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I just only thing is, man, is that like I hope she not sleeping on on homegirl though, man. I hope she not doing that. But you know, it ain't gonna be no walk in the park. You feel me? So I got I got Prime in that one. Probably. Damn, do I want to say clear and gas it? Cause Shit, but don't hype it. I, I'm not gonna hype it, but I'm gonna go Prana with that one. Um, what you got uh, Fendi, Fendi and Big Eyes. She, hello. What what happened? <laughs> That's a good one right there. That is a good one, bro. I fuck with Big Eyes, Texas and shit. You know what I mean? She she from that Shayna Ashley like family tree, like you know what I'm saying. Like she the, the 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 chick niggas be like oh nah she fight niggas too outside type shit. Uh, Fendi's a good rider, you feel me? Um, definitely a lot more experience and shit. She kind of been pissing me off a little bit lately with some of the not being clean in the rounds and shit. Probably uh like big ice got a big opportunity to 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 get a win against a veteran. You feel me? Like somebody that's really you know stamped in this shit. So. Um, off experience, you probably go to Fendi, but again, man, that, that energy that, that Ice is going to bring and the shit she going to talk to her, bro, like, I don't know. Fendi's oh, you think it's going to be too much? I, I think, I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be very close, but, and the only thing is, man, is like, like Fendi sometimes, man, it's just like, you know, she don't seem super confident at times. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. But this is a battle where she gets to talk down. She gets to talk down to her because she she's more accomplished and shit. So that may you know what I mean be the be the edge, be the deciding factor in the shit. But I'm gonna go with Fendi. I think she's a better rapper, better writer. You feel me? So yeah. But shout out to Big Ice though, because I fuck with her. I think I think she's uh she's on the come up. She kind of like like a like peaches and shit. You know what I mean? That type of that type of battler and shit. So hopefully she do her thing. Um. Oh man, Lady Tunes in trouble. I'm gonna come clean. <laughs> Lady Tone. What? She in trouble, man. What you saying? Tony Tone Tone gonna smoke her? Ah, yeah. I do. Yo. I think I think Tony Blanco about to get in there and cook something, man. You know what I mean? She first of all, shout shout out to Shug. She been in the gym, breath control on point and shit like that. You know what I mean? I seen her at the Harlem card, kind of soaking up some gems and shit and i feel like the ladies that uh they just watch the 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 you know kings versus queen you got prom night coming up and shit like that it's been a good year for the ladies and shit and i think tony's one of the people that kind of want to remind people of you know i mean she came in with a lot of the people that's now doing they doing they shit so you know what i'm saying but tunes gotta impress me man i i seen her a couple times and i wasn't really you feel me like it wasn't it eh. She she got cooked, man. But I think I think she in trouble with Blanco though. Oh, so you wasn't impressed with Lady Tunes? I, get, nah, I heard a, a lot of good reviews. There's people saying that she about to clear Tony. Clear? Nah. Yo, I swear for long. I can't I can't do clear, man. 
I can't. I think I, we had her. Uh, we had her on uh, Black Compass and shit before. I've, you know, what I'm saying I've, I've interviewed her and shit like that. And um, I think it was what battle was it? It was before the. Uh, it was actually before the J Love battle, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I got, I got to see something. I got to see something. I'm sorry. So, I'm going with Tony Blanco. All right, all right. Yo, Eliza, we're going to get to you in a second, Eliza. Ciao to Versa. Say, did you go watch my new battle today? Me and Miss Miami out. What are you talking about, crazy? You know No, no, no. We're not, not um, we, we, um, somebody said something interesting when yeah, they came to your yeah. battle. We're going to get to you in a second, though. Hold on. Okay. Let's get the line. We got Boogie Blue. Miss Pack, what you think about that, Tom? Oh man, uh, Pack, man, Pack, we gotta see something, Miss Pack, we gotta see something. You mm. know what I'm saying? Um, mm. now I gotta, I gotta, uh, like, when was the last time I seen Pack? I think I feel like that was at uh, Chrome, but I know she battled at Anybody Could Die as well. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, ne- I haven't watched that. She's another one that is. She's a veteran and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I gotta be honest, man. I'm not as familiar with Blue's work. I gotta, I gotta do a little bit of homework before I do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so you know what I mean. So I, I'm, a, I can't, I can't really go too crazy. But I know if Pac want to get in that, you know, be in them talks, man. She gonna have to, she gonna have to show and prove. You feel me? Because it's a lot of, like, next year is gonna be a big year for the women that wanna. You know what I mean? Step up to that next spot, cause like when you think about it, you know the ladies that was on the all the title holders was on the last card. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women is getting intergender intergender plates and shit, and some of them probably after probably about a year or two, some of them might be just done low key, cause they done did everything. So it's gonna be a huge fucking vacuum in there. You know what I mean? Pack is she's back on the court, so. I mean, hopefully she can she can make something happen. But I got to do a little bit more research on Boogie before I do all that. You know what I mean? She's from upstate New York. So, you know, it's only right I do that. So, yeah. It was like her third battle. Pac should win this. I don't know. Hi, hi. Tell we got Frank White and Neptune. Uh, Frank White and Neptune. Uh, uh I don't know, man. I kind of... I, I can't I can't really call that one. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I'll just really... bitch Jaru and Taz. Um, I'm gonna go Taz with this one. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go Taz with this one. You know what I'm saying? Um, why I, you feel I, such? Yeah, I think I think Taz is dope. First of all, Ellis Fitzgerald is like probably one of the the coldest like female names and shit. I'm gonna come clean, but you know. Like the performance wise and shit, I've seen Taz. I feel like she worked on the craft. I see her outside soaking up the game and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I kind of, I, I think I think I'm gonna go with her. You know what I mean? Uh, let me see the last battle I watched from Ellis Fitzgerald. Like, let me uh, let me go back. It's probably back in the little roller decks and shit. I feel like I was there live for one of her shits. But you know, this this is uh, uh this is one of those two like where. You know the the difference is going to be in the execution from from both of them. You know what I mean to be honest with you. So whoever is just more fluid, more practiced with they shit, I feel like it's going to win. So I'm gonna go Taz on this one. I bet we got Maze Hafner and Mobites. Yo, I seen the first time I seen Mobites, I was fucking with her and shit. I don't know, was it a little controversy about she might have been. Writing for some, uh, like some shit. I don't know, man. So, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Last last time I seen her, she was dope. Uh, I ain't gonna cap. I'm not even really too familiar with Maze Hefner. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do some homework before I uh, go there with it. And uh, you know what I'm saying. So this is in October. So probably because I'm stepping back on the court with the media shit. So likely what I'll end up doing is getting some of the ladies up on Black Compass to talk about the battles and shit like that and get myself familiar, you know what I mean? Especially with the ladies I hadn't really seen like that. So I'm bringing back new battle spotlights and shit, and then you know, I'm gonna have some of the ladies up on the show because, like, between between her and then, uh, you know what I'm saying, Unique and, and Miss Vicious, I haven't really, I can't even, I can't even call it, bro. So, you know, but 
dope card in general. It's one of them cards where you can steal the show. You feel what I'm saying? We know Jay Love and Liza Burst on the card, but shit, it's it's one of them where you come out there, you steal the show, and now you the talk of the town. You feel what I'm saying? That's Chrome, a it back up, you know. And uh, so I I just want to see, man. I want to see because we need we need that new influx of battlers like on the on the lady side. You feel me? So yeah, and we appreciate the predictions. We appreciate you know you breaking everything down with us. Alazo, are you there? 